sorry, but no one cares about your genius idea. If you want to continuously churn out solutions that people are eager to buy and adopt, you have to co-create with your customers. When it comes to innovating products, there are two schools of thought. One insists that your internal R&D teams become the inventors of all your new product ideas and product configurations. The other gives customers an equal seat at the R&D table and maybe even values their voice more. Interesting idea, right? Statistically, the odds are stacked against you. 95% of innovations that are brought to market fail to reach any adequate level of financial adoption or customer acceptance. Accenture studied nearly 900 digital startups and just over half were zombie startups at risk to die. Why? When I was conducting my doctorate research on commercializing innovations, I wanted to know why is this failure rate so high? Why are so many innovations failing to reach any adequate level of customer adoption or financial ROI? One of the things that I uncovered is the number one reason why an innovation fails. Wait for it. There's no market need. And we witness problems that we believe are worth solving especially when it comes to healthcare. There are thousands of noble problems to solve everywhere. And for visionaries, change agents, pioneers like us, we can't help but ideate solutions. Unfortunately, our enthusiasm for solving this problem puts us on a fast track to building solutions that nobody wants to buy. Sure, it sounds good in theory. You asked your friends, your family, your close colleagues, is this a good idea? And they all said yes. But you didn't validate demand of your solution with your target customers. You didn't involve all of your customers in the process. You spent millions of dollars building an app, a platform, or a product, and now you're launching a pilot to see if they like your product? Or maybe you have an army of salespeople pitching your solution. It was supposed to change the world. Instead, no one cares about your solution. No one is buying or adopting your stuff. Have you built stuff that no one wanted to buy or adopt? Or maybe you have a story on how you co-created with customers. I wanna know. Comment below and let's get the conversation moving. Thank you.